Hello viewers, welcome to RK Keynotes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to read JSON, Excel and CSV files using Pandas library in Python. Basically, Pandas is a software library written for the Python programming language for data manipulation and analysis. Using Pandas, we can read, filter, manipulate, visualize and export data. Let's get into the video. I'm using Google Colab for this demonstration. And here I have got my sample files which I have uploaded in my drive. This is Excel file and a CSV file and JSON file is here. Alright, now let's import the library. Alright, I'm gonna run this. Okay. Let's read the CSV file first. I'm going to have a variable called df, which is a data frame to store our table in two dimensional st structure. And within pandas, we need to call this function called read underscore CSV to read CSV file. All right. And so this is the CSV file, sample CSV file. I'm going to copy the path and paste here run this one. Now the file is read. To check the information it is called df.head which displays few reports. This is fine. Now let's read excel file and I'm gonna have another variable called df1 equal to within pandas we need to call read underscore excel function and now you need to specify the path name so this is the excel file I'm going to copy the path and paste over here and run this one so now this function read our file to check this display the file head basically head method will display the first five records yeah here it is so our excel file got read and the next thing is to read json file so i'm gonna follow the same thing like data frame another variable and within pandas you need to read read underscore json Basically you can read varieties of files like SQL, SPAS, Pickle, JSON and much more. So in this video I have shown only three things. And, and copy the path, paste here, run, there is no error and use the head function to display it df two dot head all right so this is how we can read our data using pandas hope you like this video i would like to hear you in the comment section thanks for watching the video